Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to convert between exponential and logarithmic equations. And this is a very important uh, process to not only understanding logarithm, but also once we get into solving exponential and logarithmic equations. Kind of going in between the two uh, equations can be you know, very helpful. And I, and I think really, really important as far as understanding what a logarithm is, which a lot of students have trouble with. So you know, logarithms and uh, exponential, logarithmic and exponential uh, functions are what we call inverses of one another. And the way that they're you know, related is if we look at this equation, you have 3 squared equals 9. Well, basically, all we're simply going to do to rewrite this, you know, we can kind of work this slow um, step by step, and that's what I'll do kind of like for the first problem, is just to really like break it down. And you can see I have an exponential equation, and then I have converted that exponential equation in logarithmic form. So you can see where the y's go, the b's go, and the x's go, where y, b, and x all represent real numbers. So if you're having a little trouble, or you're just kind of in the start, we can just write everything out as far as what they represent. So we can say b, in this case, is 3, x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 9. All right? And the reason why I'm doing 12 examples is because the more and more and more you do this, the faster and quicker and easier it is for you to understand. All right, well now I want to convert this to logarithmic form. So all I'm simply going to do is take my values of b, x, and y, which I got from this equation, uh, this form of exponential, and I'm going to rewrite them in the log form. So it's going to be log, and then base b, so that's b, which is in this case is 3, rate up of y, which in this case is 9, is equal to x, which in this case is 2. Okay. So when we're looking into a logarithm, and I'll just kind of say this, uh, you know, what a logarithm basically is stating, this will become important once we're trying to convert logarithms. The logarithm is basically saying log base 3 of what value is 9? Well, that value is 2. So 3 raised to what power is 9? 2. The answer is 2. Okay. Um, so a lot of times you can always check your work, right? You want to make sure that whatever the base is of your logarithm raised to the solution as a power is going to equal your um, value of, in your logarithm. The next thing I also like to kind of point out, which really helps me understand this, is b represents the base. You, here you have b as the base of the exponent. Well, in logarithms, we have bases as well. And, which actually I didn't do any of those. Huh. I'm going to have to add a couple of those. Okay. So in this case, we have two, um, or sorry, base. Notice how b is always the base. So when you're converting from exponential to logarithmic, you're always going to have that base uh, 3. Yeah, I, I want to do a base 10 and a base e for you as well. So um, I'll kind of get to those as well. Mm. OK. Um, all right, so let's get to it. So therefore, in this case, uh, we'll just kind of kind of move through these pretty quickly. Here's going to be, again, my base. So it's just going to be log base 2, and then of 8 equals 3. So over here, my base is 1 fourth, so it's log of 1 fourth of 1 of 1 16th equals 2. And again, you can always check your work. You know, 1 fourth squared is that can equal 1 16th. Yes, that does work. Uh, then over here, now my base is on the right-hand side, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be uh, actually, it can look you know, just like this. That's OK. You notice your base of your exponents over here, too. So it's going to be log base 2 of 1 16th equals negative 4. Over here, my base again is over here. So it's going to be log base 5 of 625 equals 4. And again, does 5 raised to the fourth power equals 625? It does. Um, now, this one's a little bit difficult because we don't have a base or an exponent, right? So kind of throwing a little trick here. Well, remember, we can always rewrite radicals as rational powers. Okay. Now, by rewriting in this format, we can see that 27 is my base. Uh, 27 is my base of 3 equals 1 third. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is kind of converting back, going from, so that's how we go from exponential to logarithmic. Now what we're going to do is go from logarithmic to exponential. And remember what I spoke about. You know, a logarithm is 3 raised to what power gives you your value 9? Well, that answer is 2. So we know um, this is going to be 3 squared equals 9. 
So again, my main thing though I always like to look at is look at the base, right? The base is three, so I know the base of my exponent is three. And we should know, hopefully it doesn't make sense, that three to the ninth power equals two, right? That's not gonna be your exponent. Three to the ninth power is not two. So it's gonna be three squared equals nine. Over here, my base of my logarithm is two. So that's gonna be two to the fourth power equals 16. Over here, I have three to the, uh, my base of my logarithm is three, so that's gonna be the base of my exponent. Three to the fourth power equals 81. Over here, I have 16 to the 3 fourths power equals 8. Over here, my base of my logarithm is 7, so that's the base of my exponent. It's going to be 7 to the negative second power equals 1 over 49. And again, just notice I'm doing the same product. It doesn't matter if I have negative and rational, um, uh, rational numbers or if I'm just doing this. It's 3 to the second power equals 9. 7 to the negative second power equals 149. It's the exact same process over here. Um, this one's going to be the base is 1 third raised to negative three equals nine. Okay, so I kind of quickly went through all those, but there are a couple problems that I want to go through uh, that I didn't write down. I actually just kind of forgot. So I'm gonna do four problems. Four problems for you. Actually, I'll just do, yeah, I'll do four problems for you. 10, um, 10 to the second power equals 100. Ooh, oh, that's why I didn't do E, because I don't know what, I didn't know my E. Um, okay, well, actually, let me uh, make up a problem. E to the third power is approximately 20.85, 20.08. Um, let's do log of seven and let's do ln of five. Okay, so the reason why I wanna do these is because these deal with base 10 as well as base E. And these are gonna be your most commonly used bases um, in logarithms, and they're also the two bases that your calculator is going to, uh, to use. So when you plug in log in your calculator, it's only using base 10. So therefore, we can't evaluate the log base three of 81. You have to use the change of base formula or make sure your calculator has the ability to change different bases other than base 10. But on most calculators only evaluate in base 10, so you can just use a change of base formula, which we'll go over as well. Um, and base E is gonna be your natural logarithm, with, which is representing your calculator as ln. So anyways, um, the main important thing I wanted to, to go, go through, again, we're gonna follow the same process. This is log base 10 of 100 equals two. But the main important thing, which you'll see very common, is we don't really write log base 10 because that's kind of like our default base for a logarithm. So we'll just write log of 100 equals 2. And I wanted to do these problems because I just wanted you to understand that 10 is still there. It's like writing the number 8 knowing that there's a 1 in front of it, right? So the base 10 is assumed when no other base is provided. Uh, the same thing for e. Uh, we'll just write this as log base e of 20.08. Okay, and I'm using approximate because E is an irrational number, so doing the logarithms with irrational numbers is gonna still give you approximate. Um, however, we don't, for log base E, we use the natural logarithm, which is the exact same, it's just our notation is gonna be, um, we just use the natural logarithm. And again, when we're using ln, we know that the base is gonna be E, so we don't write in base E. And you'll just see it, you'll just see it on a test or in a textbook like that, where the E is not written in as the base. It is assumed that you'll know. So what a lot of times this comes into problems is are these two problems. Because students will look at these and say, I don't know what the base is. Um, oh, shoot. Crap. Actually, let me change this. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to finish the problems. Okay, um, Okay. forgot to write that in. All right, so now a lot of students are like, well, I don't know what the base is. Well, remember, logarithm, if there's no base provided, we use it as base 10. So you're just gonna write in a nice little 10 there. And for the ln, when the base is not given, we just put a nice little e there. So now I can say, 10 to the negative first power equals 1 tenth. 
and e to the 1.6 is approximately 5. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a quick little overview of how to convert between exponential and logarithmic equations. Thanks. Hello. <laughs>